oh, wow, I can totally remember this. This is definitely my heaviest weight by far. I'm Chandra, I am from Holland, Michigan, and as of today, I've lost 109 pounds. I'm Gerald, Chandra's husband. Uh, we've been married for seven years and together for about 17. During my 20s, I gained 100 pounds in like a 10 year period. I had to be taken off a roller coaster because I didn't fit in the seat. I got home from that and I weighed myself and it was 260 pounds. Something about that number was just like a no-go. When Jay and I decided we wanted to have kids, I knew that I couldn't go into that unhealthy myself. So we just thought, let's do this thing right from the start. We are a team, so everything that we've ever done, we've been challenged by, we face together, so this wouldn't be any different. It takes 21 days to build a habit. So I said, I'm just gonna go to the gym every single day, no matter what, for 21 days, and I'll just see what happens after that. It was really, really hard, but I went for 21 days and I never looked back. Sometime shortly thereafter, we started counting calories together, he joined me, and it was just as addictive as the gym portion. One day, I saw my wedding dress in the back of the closet. I put it on and literally laughed out loud because, I mean, I could just let go of it and it would just fall straight to the floor. So this picture went crazy viral. It totally inspired me to push harder and keep going. We have two boys, a three and a half year old named Brecken and a one and a half year old named Hendrick. They are boys. nicknamed Hambone and Biscuit. Because we're from the South. <laughs> Jay and I have been together since we were literally kids. Because of his support, I was able to lose this weight. I never once felt judged or that he thought I was any less beautiful or anything like that. So I'm just really excited to renew our commitment to each other. I had all these dreams for the dress that I wanted in the first place. I spent months talking with my sister and my mom about what I was going to get, even though I think I knew deep down that I wasn't going to be able to wear those dresses. I cannot wait to see new pics with my new dress and my new body and feeling like I have a whole new life. I feel like I'm getting the opportunity to fulfill a dream that I had since the very beginning. This is not boho. It's just so beautiful though. Now this dress is really Art Deco. I love Art Deco. And this does have these lines yeah, that really kind of lengthen you. So how do you feel in this dress? I love this dress. So this is a contender? Absolutely a contender. How are you feeling in this dress? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that's this is crazy. That's the reaction I'm looking for. Oh. Plus this little dip here is gonna Love lengthen that. your neck. So that's gonna make you look longer and leaner. And you like this part of your body, which you My said. Favorite. So how do you feel in this dress? Really elegant. I love this. I love the sleeves. It's kind of what I pictured. It's what I had talked about and sent. I like the flowiness. Choose the dress that makes you feel the most beautiful. Because when you walk out in the dress that makes you feel beautiful, you're going to walk out like you are queen of the world. Just as you did seven years ago, you've pinned special words for the day. Chandra, would you like to go first? Please. <laughs> I first fell in love with you 17 years ago. And seven years ago, I promised to love you for my whole, with my whole heart for my whole life. Seven years and two babies later, your love is the rock from which we've built our lives and our family. Today, I renew my vow to love you with my whole heart for my whole life. Mine are going to be short and sweet, I promise. <laughs> um, yeah, seven years, this is amazing. It's been an amazing seven years, and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together, continue down this path. You are amazing, and you inspire me every day. And I renew my commitment to you for always. I love you. So to you two, we raise our hearts in thanksgiving for the beautiful love that you've found, all that you've accomplished as individuals, as a couple, and a family. And so by the authority vested in me by the great state of New York, I again pronounce you husband and wife. Please kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs>